New project, episode one. So here we've got a miniature V8 engine with a supercharger. I want to see if we can fit it into this armor infraction RC car. Imagine that, supercharged V8 in the front and doing a rear wheel drive burnout. But first, let's rewind and unbox it. By the way, want to win one of my RC cars? See the link in the description. Check this out. This is a miniature working model V8 engine. And here we've got a working supercharger unit to bolt on top of it. It's like a miniature version of my real monster truck engine. Also, I've got a little miniature nitrous oxide system, so we're going to try that on there too. But anyway, let's first try and get it all assembled and see if we can get the thing running. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to put it all together. Let's look online and see if we can find some instructions. So I'm on the Toyan website, here's some downloads, and it won't let me download it. Anyway, I got the engine from Engine DIY. I'm going to put a link to that down below if you want to get one too. And Johnny Q did a video of how to install it, so I'm going to try and do the same. Wish me luck. So first of all, Let's get the carburetors off and the inlet manifold and try and fit the supercharged ones. So here, look, we can see the starter motor and the supercharger kit comes with this intake manifold here. So off with the standard belt and on with the longer supercharged belt. So that's the supercharger all fitted, so now we've got to fit the carburetors. Next up, I've got to fit eight glow plugs. So that is the supercharger installation complete. Now, it was a little bit of a faff. If you want to build one of these, you're going to need to know a little bit about hobbies and model making and that sort of stuff. It's not just plug and play. We have to mess about a little bit. So in here is the water pump and with the supercharger kit, it comes with a new plate. However, with this plate on there, it made the water pump seize up because it just wasn't machined properly at the back here. Also, you see those four screws that hold it on? That one down there, I had to countersink it because otherwise it would rub on that belt. And even with all that, the water pump was still seizing up. So we had to put a little paper gasket in between the water pump and the housing to bring it away a bit and free it all up. This thing on the top here, I'm not really sure how it's supposed to hold on. It's got a couple of holes on the bottom here, but there's nowhere on here to screw it to. So this engine runs on glow fuel, kind of similar fuel to what the real monster truck runs on. The monster truck pretty much runs on neat methanol. The glow engine runs on like a mixture of methanol, nitro and oil and other stuff. So the monster truck's just got regular spark plugs, pretty much the same as what you find on your street car. This engine here runs on glow plugs. However, I can put put spark plugs in there and I've got these distributors here that go on either side and the points box here so we can convert this to petrol or gasoline for you Americans. Anyway next up we've got to temporarily mount it then we can see if it will start up but I've just had a brainwave. What about taking this engine and dropping it in the front of the armor infraction and turning it into a burnout truck. It's almost perfect size. That's going to fit all the way down there. We're going to have to supercharge a poking out the bonnet or hood for you Americans. So engine there, but lower down. Then we can have a gearbox in the middle, a prop shaft going to the rear differential. Just imagine what that's going to sound like. You're going to hear the supercharger whine, the V8 engine, the tire smoking. What do you reckon, guys? Should we do it as a project? Comment down below. So next, let's mount the engine onto a piece of wood and see if we get it running. Boom! There we go. That should now be ready to get some nitro in there, get it started up and see if it works. And then we're going to feed it with some nitrous oxide and see how much power this thing can put out. So first of all, we've got to fill it up with water or water for you Americans. Next, we've got to add some nitro. So for some reason, there's no switches, so we've got to plug one of these in for the glow plugs and another one in for the starter motor. So first of all, we've got to prime the engine and get the fuel into it. So hopefully any minute now, it's going to start. So I'm pretty sure the top of the engine is just there for show. So to make it easier to mess about with the settings on the carburetors, we just removed it for now. It's very difficult to figure out if this engine is running rich or lean. Rich means too much fuel, lean means not enough fuel. So here we are trying to figure it out. I think we flooded the engine, so I've temporarily disconnected the fuel lines, turning it over a few times, get all the excess fuel out, and then try again. 
We tried so many different mixture settings. We tried lean, we tried rich. The only time it tries to sort of start is if it's running rich. So spitting fuel out the breather down there, it's spitting loads of fuel out the exhaust. It's got no startage, so I don't know what's going on. So we're gonna try a flush carburetor setting, see if that works. That could be a bit temperamental getting these engines going, but hopefully once we get it going, it's gonna run well. These are the things here for the glow plugs, and it's not firing anymore, so I think we're gonna whip off one of these. So we removed the glow plug, and I'm just holding it onto the engine, and we have no glow. <laughs> So it's been a few weeks and we've got a new ignition system. So here is a new wiring harness. This one here, it does the eight glow plugs, the starter motor, and we've got a start button. So in theory, all we've got to do, plug in the battery, hit the button, and it's gonna run. Trouble is, we don't know what voltage it wants. So we've got it up on the engine DIY website, and it says on there, who's your 3S LiPos? So we've got a 3S LiPo there. We've got one problem where this is the starter motor and that, it was supposed to go on it there. So we're gonna have to get this, let's hold that onto there. That in there, start button. <laughs> me. So next, we just gotta wire up all these glow leads onto the engine, quickest way that I know. Boom, there we go, all wired up, that side, that side. I'm trying to make it half tidy. Are you ready? Ready. Is start. it gonna work? No. <laughs> Hit this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh! Two on! Two on! Pretty good! Okay, next up, uh, nitrous oxide. So here we've got a nitrous oxide system. So if we hit this button here, look. Just runs on these things here, really. There we go. N2O, nitrous oxide, baby. So when you're running nitrous, you've actually got to have the engine running a little bit richer. So I think we'll get it running again, see how rich it'll run, then feed it nitrous and hope for the best. So we've got two carburetor holes, and to get that nitrous into both, we're gonna put this little fake supercharger hat back on. So I think we need one person to run it and one person to do the NOS. Right, okay, two-man operation. Yeah, she's a two-man job. So what are you gonna do? I'll connect that, get her running. All right, and I'll be the NOS man. You'll be the NOS man. So what we're gonna do is, for now, we're just gonna get this NOS here and just aim it here. It's probably gonna go lean and conk out, and then we'll just switch in it. So I'm gonna show a little logo up here every time the night switch is on. Equal power. Oh, what? It makes a proper little supercharger noise, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Equal power. You killed it. Yeah. Say so, hey, it, game over. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Man, these things are thirsty. If we can get it working on that in a minute, I want to try the monster truck fuel. This 1500 horsepower monster truck engine runs on 100% methanol. So we're going to take some fuel from that. Try it on that in a minute. That is, um... Oh, look at that, look. Oh. Look, it's oh. firing all that stuff out of there. Right, hold on, let me get a tube because it's firing nitro out of there <laughs> and it's caking, I was caking everything. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> oh man, I'm wondering, I'm standing here and getting completely drenched with nitro. Right, there we go. Got this tube on there now, going over there. Hopefully no more mess. Ready when you are. <laughs> <laughs> now we've been messing about with this for ages. Cannot get it running right. I mean, it went for that little bit that you saw on camera. Now it doesn't want to go again. So we've just got through like another two or three tanks to try to start it. We're trying all different mixture settings on the high and the low. Won't work. The only way we can get it to work is if you sort of suck loads of fuel in, it works for like a little bit and then stop. We're going to go through that one last tank, then we're going to get the methanol. We're bored of this now. We've been messing about with it for another half an hour, getting through loads of nitro there. So let's just go straight for the methanol. 
100% almost, about as pure as you're gonna get, see what happens. This stuff is highly toxic, don't wanna get it on your skin. So where's your gloves, Chris? You're in your cupboard, mate. It might blow up, it might catch fire, it might do nothing at all. Bit of nitrous oxide now, come on. Oh. Proper windy out here, and I'm quickly running out of motivation. How long have we been out here for? It's got to be like an hour, isn't it? Yeah, it feels more though. <laughs> oh no, look. It's gone really tight. I think you might have seized it up. Whatever we did to it, it didn't like it. Anyway, if you want to get yourself one of these, link down below. Oh man, look at that. All that stuff coming out of there. It's got all bits of metal in there, so I think. We've killed it. So guys, I don't know what to do with this engine. Do we take it apart and see if we can get it going? Do we send it back to the manufacturer, get them to have a look at it? Or do we try and find a different V8 engine to put into that? If you've got any ideas, give me a note in the comments down below. Do you want to see this project come alive? If you do, then we're going to get on to part number two. So subscribe and smash the bell so you don't miss it.